What's up, everyone, and good morning. Uh, welcome to your daily dose of Webflow. Um, so yeah, let's start with today's jam session. Um, so I'll go over a few things from yesterday that uh, I think could be updated, um, as well as a few other things I noticed uh, about this build. Um, so one of the first things I noticed is uh, it's with the images here. So I was trying to achieve the similar effect uh, of these images by adding an overlay, uh, but in Figma, this section so let me just try to open it here um, yeah so this section is using a, a multiply uh, blend mode and in, in figma and uh, currently webflow doesn't have blend modes uh, so what i decided to do to to achieve this effect um, is simply export the the files with the blend mode so or or export the images with the blend mode um, so here we have the overlay and the background image, so I simply just grouped them um, here in, in Figma, and then I exported um, each, uh, yeah, each image with the overlay and the multiply blend mode. Um, so the first thing I'll do here is I'll go ahead and drag and drop these images right in here into the assets panel, and perfect. The images are a little bit larger, and actually I uploaded the wrong images, so I might have to delete these. Uh, yeah, these are the larger images. So let me go ahead and delete these. Um, I ran them through compression, um, so they wouldn't be as large. So let me just delete these, and we'll go to the uh, compressed PNG, and I'll just drag those in there. Those are a bit uh, smaller. They're still kind of large, but uh, you know, not as large as as the other ones were. All right, cool. So I'll go ahead into each slide. And let's see, so we got the slider. Uh, yeah, right here in the mask, I'll go on each slide and I'll just replace the, the background images. So I'll choose the image and I'll select this one and cool and slide two and uh, I'll replace this one and nice and then uh, slide three and choose image and I'll replace it. All right, so the next thing I wanna do, uh, because I don't want um, I don't want this gold overlay in the slider. I'm not really happy with that type of layout. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and yeah, I'll also rename uh, the right to right section so it's a little bit more clear and the left to left section. So that's great about Webflow. You can just go in and change class names. Um, so for the right section, I'm actually going to grab um, this gold overlay and just place it in the right section. So we notice it's kind of at the top there. So what I want to do here yeah, let me just bring it out of the nav bar. Let's see the right nav, nav bar. Okay, cool. So for the the right nav bar, um, it's set to a position of static. That's fine. So for the gold overlay, rather than absolute, I'm going to set it to relative um, there. And then I'm going to set the height to 100%. Um, that way it doesn't go, let's see, so 100%. That didn't seem to work. I think for the right section, we have to change the flex setting. So it's vertical, top. Um, oh, we also want to give the right nav bar a, let's see, let's say a position of relative as well. Uh, that didn't seem to work either. Oh, okay. Um, so gold overlay, we have the slider uh, because the slider, yeah, so for the slider, we'll set the slider to um, okay, so this is interesting. Uh, right, okay. So I see, I see, okay. Um, so let me undo that. Let me just go back. And okay, so we'll start here. And cool. So yeah, the gold overlays in the slider. So for the right nav bar, that's fine. So for the right section, I'm going to create another div. And I'm going to call it... Um, right yeah so i'll create another div block i'll call it right content and i'll just place it right here right below the right nav bar and i'll give it a position yeah relative and for this we'll say a hundred percent okay cool and then for this i'll place the gold overlay in here and the right content and the slider in there Okay, perfect. So that's a bit cleaner. Um, yeah, there's many ways you can lay this out, and I, hopefully that was clear. But basically, 
I wanted um, there to be like, yeah, the right nav bar and the right content and, and inside of the right content, the gold overlay and the slider rather than the gold overlay in the slider. I just think it's a bit uh, cleaner that way. And I'm also going to change the gold overlay to a different uh, name. So we're just going to call it um, panel wrapper or panels wrapper. Or yeah, right panel wrapper, something like that, uh, because the right panels are in here. And we're going to remove the, the background color from the gold overlay. So for the color, I'll just hold down option and click and it'll reset it. Nice. So that's looking pretty good. Um, so let's see. Yeah, I probably already gone five minutes with uh, this review, uh, but that's okay. We're getting some good stuff done here. Um, yeah, so that looks that looks good. So this first image is kind of pixelated because that's the image that was in the Figma file, and uh, and yeah, it's just uh, not uh, a large size, so it looks a little bit pixelated. Uh, maybe that's not noticeable here, but. Uh, but yeah, so let's move on to the next thing. So the next thing I want to do is replace these uh, these plus signs with just uh, I'm just going to create them manually in Webflow. Um, so in here, I'm going to add a div block, and I'm going to set the width and height to 30 by 30. Um, I think that's the size of these, maybe a little bit bigger, but we'll play with that. Maybe 35 by 35. Um, and something like that and then we'll give it the border radius 50% um, then the border maybe three three looks good and we'll change the color to white all right cool so I'll call this um, plus uh, plus icon all right cool and then in here we're going to do flex center center and I'll add another div block and I'll give it a width of maybe three pixels by 10, or maybe 12. And we'll set the, um, the color to white. Cool. Um, so let's give it more height there. Uh, let's say 15. All right, cool. So that looks good. And then I'll just copy, or um, I'll call this plus sign line. And then, yeah, I'll copy and paste, and I'll duplicate the class. I'll call this plus line uh, horizontal, or yeah, plus line horizontal. And then I'll just swap out the width and the height here. Cool. And we'll also set the position for these lines to absolute. Yeah, absolute, and cool. So we have the plus sign there uh, it's a little bit bigger so um, so the reason I'm doing it in in Webflow is because we can use interactions to change the color which will be kind of cool of these uh, plus signs okay so that's a little bit bigger than these ones so let's set the the height to 2 and the height to 2 here okay cool and then for this let's set the um, the borders to two. Yeah, it's a little bit better. And then for the width and height, let's do, yeah, 30 by 30. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. And yeah, cool. So one of these lines looks a little bit thinner than the other, but we'll just kind of work with that. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's go ahead and work with that. And I'll just place this above here and that's better. So let me delete these. And then I'll just copy and paste across here. Okay, cool. So we have that plus sign. Um, we'll be able to change the color. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started with um, with building. Uh, the other thing I want to do here is, yeah, this has a padding of 40. So I'm going to go ahead for this div block, remove this margin, and also add a padding of 40. So these are aligned here. Um, cool. So let me just publish and see how it looks. I'm definitely past five minutes here. And we haven't even started today's jam session, so uh, let's go ahead and get started with that. Um, yeah, that's looking pretty good. We have the plus symbols, the heading. So in today's jam session, let's go ahead and see what we can do. Um, so let me go ahead and add, um, let's see, the hover buttons, uh, the gradient, 
yeah let me add these gradients up here so we can notice that there's gradients down here and then we'll, I'll, I'll add an interaction to these buttons here so that, that should be fun uh, so let's go ahead and get started um, I'll go ahead into the let's see the right content and I'll add a div block so div block and I'll call this gradient top or right gradient top and for this let's set the um, the gradient so I'll choose a gradient right here and we want it to go yeah that's perfect so I want it to go from black to transparent so I'll just select transparent right there cool so there we have the gradient and then uh, for the position I'll set it to absolute and top Okay, and then I'll give it a height of 200 pixels. And let's see here, let's set the Z index to 99, um, maybe like 50, yeah, that's better. So it goes behind the text. And then um, I'll go ahead and copy and paste, and I'll duplicate this class, and I'll say gradient, right gradient, uh, bottom. So yeah, let me start the timer actually. So yeah, just started the timer. So this is going to be a longer video, but um, that's okay. We're learning uh, quite a bit here. So I'll put this one at the bottom, and then I'll just swap the gradient um, position here. So here I'll just flip it, and bam. Cool. So we have the, those nice gradients. Um, that really makes the text pop a lot more at the top and the bottom. And yeah, let's go ahead and add an inter interaction to these plus buttons when we hover over the right panel. So here I'll select the right panel, go to interactions, click the plus. Um, I'll do mouse hover, and on hover I'll start an animation, click the plus, and we'll do right panel uh, in. And yeah, so initially the, the plus icon, that's fine. So when we hover, we want the plus icon for the fill uh, to to change color so here when we hover the background color of the plus icon is going to turn white that looks good and then for the let's see the plus icon yeah then for the horizontal we're, we're going to change that to black so background color we're going to change it to to black all right we're going to start them together. We want them to start at the same time. And then for the vertical line, we're going to click the plus and we're going to change that to black as well. All right, cool. So that looks good. And we'll change the easing to, to ease out. That'll be fine. I'll just select them all and change the, the easing. Ease out. So now when we hover, um, so I'll preview, we hover and it changes to black. So we can actually make that faster. I might change the duration to zero, so it's just instant. Um, so yeah, let's see. So preview, hover, yeah, I kind of like the instant, or maybe maybe like 0.2 seconds, 0.2, okay, cool. Um, so the other thing, so it happens for all of these, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and or actually let's do the hover out animation so here I'll start an animation and I'll duplicate so right panel in two and then we'll say right panel out all right so for the plus icon we want to remove the background so we'll just say uh, transparent and then for the lines we'll change them back to white all right cool and that's it so now <clears throat> excuse me uh, we hover in, hover out, and we have that nice effect. Nice, I'm liking that. Cool, so now I want to apply it to all these panels, so all I have to do for this mouse hover animation is instead of triggering it on an, on an element, I'll trigger on a class uh, right panel, so it happens for all of these panels. So now when I hover, we have that effect. Nice, so that was nice and quick. Um, so let's see the other thing we can do. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's go ahead and change the text here. So I can double click and I'll just change the text for all of this. So I can copy it here from Figma and paste inside. Um, so let's see, 
I'm not able to select the text. So I'm going to have to bring the text to the front. So text block, we'll give, give it a Z index of like 90 or set it to relative. So I'm able to select it. All right, cool. And then paste. And this text is kind of large. So let's change the text here to, uh, no, not, not the line height, um, the font size to like 20. That looks good. And then the line height will change it as well. Maybe to, maybe to like 14. It's a little bit tight, but the text is very small. So we have this uncompromising sound. And I'll paste that in there. Cool. And period. And then we have uh, this in here. Up to 19 hours of playtime. Cool. Does seem like a good headphone site. Um, kind of the content is good. Looks looks as good as it sounds. Nice. And the last one up here. Comfort and style. Cool. All right. And then we have that. And then we have the heading, sound, wireless, battery, design materials. All right. So sound, wireless. Okay, that's my time, so I'll just finish with the battery design material. So just renaming these. Battery design materials. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and publish. And also let's see how this looks like on a 14, uh, 1400 pixel screen. Um, that looks pretty good. Yeah, nice. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and see how this looks. Yeah, it's looking good. Um, I'm liking that. I might make these panels a little bit darker on hover, so let's go ahead and just do that real quick. So hover, and I'll set the opacity maybe to 40. Yeah, nice. And publish. So this is definitely longer than five minutes today. Um, I think that's okay. So yeah, that's looking good. We have those nice hover effects on the plus buttons. We have the text up here, the text at the bottom. And yeah, I'm liking it. Um, so yeah, hopefully that was clear what I went over around the right content. So basically, instead of placing the overlay in the slider, yeah, I just created a new div, placed a slider in this new div, and then we, we added or changed the overlay to right panel wrapper, and then we have the right panels in here, and the structure is just a bit cleaner um, there, and then we were able to add the interactions to the right panels, we added the gradients, and we changed the, the overlay to be a bit darker. Um, yeah, so it's looking good. Um, let me go back in here. Yeah, we can change the image. And that's looking nice. All right, so that's it for today's jam session. A bit of a longer one today. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, definitely check out um, kind of my, my plug at the end of each jam session. Uh, check out Web Dev for You. Uh, we have the templates here. If you want to get started quickly with the template, I just recently released a new template, the Ryan Parker template. Um, it's just a nice kind of slideshow portfolio template um, where if you have like a Behance portfolio or a Dribbble portfolio, uh, you can showcase it in a really, really nice way. Um, the user can click to to see uh, your works here. Um, and then we have this nice info section in here. All right, so that's it for today's jam session. Thanks for watching. I'll definitely keep the next one a bit shorter, uh, but there was a lot to cover in the beginning. Uh, so yeah, thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next jam session.